Fellow Southern Cameroonians, fellow Ambazonians, good morning for those of our brothers and sisters who are waking up in Ambalan, and good day for the Southern Cameroonians across the world. I want to start by acknowledging the commitment and the dedication you people have shown, the loyalty, the patriotism you've shown this week. From Monday to Wednesday, you exhibited your authority and your autonomy on your land by observing three days of ghost town as advice as requested by the governing council of the Southern Cameroon. This in spite of the repeated threats, this in spite of the militarization of our region, this despite of the threats and all the atrocities that the government of the Republic of the regime of the Republic of Cameroon has done on our people, you showed that you are committed to the restoration of the independence of Southern Cameroons. We want to acknowledge that, we want to thank you, and we want to take that to the next level. I, Sisiku Ayoktabe, Chairman of the Governing Council, on behalf of the Governing Council, I'm making a pledge to you people that this struggle will not end until all our people who have been abducted, starting from Mancho BBC, Penn Terence, and all of the rest must be released we are asking the government, after the deceitful release of a few of our brothers and sisters, we are now asking them to produce a list of all the abductees because we will not even entertain and sit at the table with them without the list of all abductees and a, this, a clear position of where they are. By this, we are asking parents also to now go into your families and send us a list of all the people who have disappeared in your families. If you haven't seen your relatives in the last week, in the last month, and in the last year, we want you to write down their names, the date that they disappeared, and you send it to our email address, admin at skakuv.org. Send their names, the date they disappeared, as much information as possible, their ages, and we are going to hold the government of the Republic of Cameroon. We are going to hold the regime of Mr. Paul Bia responsible and accountable for each life of our people that has disappeared. On the release of our brothers and sisters, let me stress that Mancho BBC, Penn Terence and the others, if they are not released by the 22nd of September, we would escalate our actions to the next level. We all are sacrificing for this struggle. We all feel the pain of our brothers and sisters that have disappeared. But nobody feels that pain than the mothers. They carried us in their stomachs for nine months. They bear the brunt of labor and they brought us onto this planet. So this struggle has reached where we want our mothers to take the lead. And so we are launching what we now term Takumbeng Unleashed. We are unleashing the Takumbengs. We are unleashing the grandmothers. We are unleashing the old mothers to take the struggle into the regime of Mr. Paul Bia. We are asking that from the 18th of September to the 22nd of September, there will be Takumbeng unleashed at New York, at the United Nations headquarters in New York. We are asking all the Takumbengs, we are asking all the ladies to go to New York, wherever you are in the United States, and those of our sisters in the diaspora who can afford it, we are asking you to go and mass to New York and support the Takumbangs in New York because we want to stage. We want to stage a protest against the regime of Mr. Paul Bia. And by this, we are officially also launching Takumbang Unleashed globally, internationally. We are, I'm asking every Southern Cameroonian in the diaspora to go to the UN office in the country in which you are and go and support this move. This action will be taken unanimously, globally, on the 22nd of September. That's Friday, the 22nd of September. I'm asking for a global protest. That should start at 9 a.m. in every country. You go to the United Nations offices and you protest. On the international demonstrations, we are asking every Southern Cameroonian to join and go to the 
United Nations offices in their respective countries. And I want to stress that as much as possible that the Takumbens are leading these demonstrations, we are calling on the men and the boys, Kada riders, to join their mothers. They brought you onto this planet. You have to ride your bicycles alongside them and call them and blow your whistles. Let them know that you support them. And let Mr. Bia hear from his home in Etudi. Even if he goes to his village, let him hear that the people are calling for him to carry his forces out of our land. Now, I want people to understand, wherever you are internationally in the diaspora, you have to seek authorization by the laws of the nation in which you are to do this protest. We have to inform the authorities of the respective countries. We have to inform the United Nations office, and we have to go there with our protest to tell them that the people of Southern Cameroons have decided to stay and be on their own. This protest is not only going to be international, it's also going to be national. We are by this unleashing Takumbam across Cameroon. I am asking all the Takumbams from Bamenda, from Dob, from Wum, from Manfe, from Limbe, from Boya, everywhere. We are asking you people to come out on Friday, the 22nd of September. If you are in Yaoundé, all the women would march. They would pro uh, go to the United Nations office represented by the UNDP in Yaoundé. We want all of you to assemble there and make them well understand, speak loud and clear that enough is enough. You're asking Paul Bia to bring out the list of all your, all your children that have been abducted, all your children that have disappeared. You're asking his regime to bring them and list, bring them all in front of you. I still remember the image of a lady who went to Vamenda when they released a few of the children in January. When she did not see her child, which those memories haunt us because we saw how she was rolling on the floor. We are asking people, women should march. In all the other capitals of Cameroon, we want them to go to the governor's office. In the divisions, we want you to march and assemble at the senior divisional officer's office. In the districts, we want you to go to the DO's office. Takumbem, we are now calling you to go take this fight because it is at the end of the day, your children. You are not sweet mother for nothing. These are your children whose lives have been put at home. And we want you to go and demand. It is your human right. You brought these children on this planet and we are asking you to go and ask Mr. Paul Bia to give them back to you. Now, that brings me to the point. Because we are asking you to do this, we expect Mr. Paul Bia, in his habitual, forceful attitude, to send his gendarmes, his police and his military people to stop, to try to stop this protest. We have seen clearly on Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday this week how his forces are beginning to turn even against him because the force of justice, the force of reason must prevail. The police, the gendarmes and the army. This is your moment. This is a moment when you have to think a moral obligation for the lives lost. I'm sure every one of you has a relative, a brother or sister or a child who has disappeared, who has been beaten, who has been maimed, who has suffered, who has raped, been raped in this crisis. We are now calling on you to dig into your consciences and come up to support the struggle. This is the moment when you must back out of this regime of Mr. Paul Bia. I want to thank all the police, the gendarmes and the, and the military who have been providing us with a lot of intelligence in the last couple of weeks. This is not only from our brothers in the southern Cameroons. We have got enormous intelligence from the Bamlikis, from the Basas, and from our northern brothers. We have got intelligence from the Betis and the Wondos. All across Cameroon we've received support, and we are asking for this support. As a matter of fact, I want to close by asking the Francophones to join this protest. Those who feel the cause of injustice that we have been living for the last 56 years. This is the moment when you should join this protest to say to Paul Bia that enough is enough. I should also close by asking our chiefs. Our chiefs, the funds, this is the moment when your people are calling you to action. You cannot be indifferent in the face of this crisis. The, your people have spoken, they have spoken loudly, they spoke on Monday, they spoke on Tuesday, they spoke on Wednesday. 
our chiefs, you cannot be indifferent to this situation. Our, brother, our forefathers left Enugu in 1954. The same call is yours now, that you should pack your things, you should stand up and tell Mr. Paul Beer that enough is enough. Your people are calling and you must answer to them. I will close by also asking our parliamentarians and our people in the Senate, if you represent the people, then you must have been hearing what they have said in the last nine months. If you represent the people, this is a moment that you have to make history by turning around and telling Mr. Paul Beer that you cannot be in his assembly, you cannot be in his Senate when the people that you represent say you should back out. We are asking you to step out of the so-called glass house because your people are calling you to come to Boya. Time has come for us to act as one person. We cannot go to Boya individually. We must go to Boya together, collectively, and Boya, here we come. And let me just say a word in French. Bonjour, bonsoir. Nous sommes les peuples de Southern Cameroon au Cameroon. Et nous demandons à tous nos sympathiseurs de nous joindre à cette marche que nous allons organiser le 22 septembre à Yaoundé. Vous avez vécu avec nous comment le régime de M. Paul Bia nous a malmenés, nous a maltraités. On a, nous, on a tué nos enfants. Et nous vous demandons en solidarité de nous joindre à demander à M. Paul Bia de libérer tous nos frères, tous nos sœurs qui sont dans ces prisons. Et nous vous souhaitons bonne journée. Merci beaucoup. So let me close by thanking everybody. We have this demonstrated in the last eight, nine months that 56 years is enough. I want to thank everybody. I want to encourage you to continue to stand firm. We, are, we call for a non-violent revolution. We call for a non-violent protest. We call for a non-violent march. This is what we are demonstrating to the world and we have resisted Mr. Beer's army of occupation in our land, but this is a moment that we must continue to stand firm. If we needed any support, if we needed any strength, the first three days of this week have shown us that we can defy this uh, government, this regime, because you cannot rule a people without their consent. You know where your loyalty is, you know who is giving you instructions and who is leading you. This has always been your struggle, this has been your movement, and you dictate where we go from here. I'm thanking you and I'm hoping that you continue with this resolve until we get to Boya. Thank you and God bless you all.